beautiful people. Today, we've got a super special thing to teach you how to do. We're gonna show you how to make a dock leaf salve. Basically, we're gonna combine the powers of the dock with coconut oil so it sets and you can keep the powers of the dock in your pocket. So whenever you're out and about, you can simply take a little scoop and soothe a sting for you or your children or for anyone that needs it. Firstly, all we have to do is learn how to identify the dock and we're gonna be using the broadleaf dock for this. Now to identify the broadleaf dock is pretty simple. The leaves can grow up to about 30 inches in size. They're huge. They remind me of something out of Jurassic Park. Then you have this stem that runs right up the middle of the leaf and most of the time this has a tinge of red to it. Now this really helps me find out if it's broadleaf dock or not. And then off the stem you'll see all the veins kind of wave out in a majestic pattern from the stem that runs up the center of the leaf. The leaf is a big oval shape, kind of like a spear tip. And if you look at the edges, sometimes they can be slightly wavy. Also, if you look at the stem and run your finger down it, you'll find that it has a slight groove, kind of like celery. So once you've correctly identified your beautiful broadleaf duck, collect 10 to 20 of these, 10 big ones or 20 little ones. Make sure to get lots of the stalk, pop them in your backpack and take them home and we'll teach you how to make it. So come with me and meet the missus. Hi guys, check out this amazing dock leaf salvation balm for when you or a loved one gets stung by a pesky sea nettle. We just rub it on for instant relief. It's amazing. Come with me and I'll show you how to make it. You will need a cup of coconut oil, a few little pots, 10 dock leaves or 20 depending on your size, and a bain marie. Step one, fill your large pan, just a quarter with boiled water and bring to the boil. Bring down to a simmer. your smaller pan on top so just resting on the water and then add your cup of coconut whilst this guy's on the melting we are going to chop up our dock leaves our super healing super soothing docks so the most important part is this stem so when you pick them you want to pick them right from the base and there's lots of amazing cooling healing juice inside here and that is what's going to heal us up when we get stung by those nettles so we are I've cut the sides off of these humongous leaves because it is particularly the stalks that we want and a little bit of the leaf. Otherwise, all the coconut oil just gets stuck on the end of the rest of the leaves. So now our coconut oil has melted. I'm going to pop this in. Chop up the rest and pop them in the pan. Now all you do is leave it on the lowest heat for half an hour. We don't want to burn anything in here, so make sure your cooker is on its lowest heat and it'll all infuse together. The dock leaves are infused beautifully with the coconut oil. Now we're just going to separate the oil and the leaves, straining it through. Oh, 
squeeze with the back of your spoon. Check out this green stingy nettle kryptonite. So here it is, our jar of dock leaf infused with the coconut oil. And um, we've just made sure that there's no little bits in there, there's no bits of leaf or anything, so it's just pure. And we're going to pop it in the fridge for one hour to set. And there we have it. Ta-da! Amazing dock leaf salvation balm. Stinging nettle kryptonite. <laughs> I was amazed when I came up with this recipe at how good it is at healing those stings. So the kids now love it because obviously when they get stung, it's awful. It's the worst. But then you can pull this out your bag, rub it on, and yeah. they feel better. I must have essential for anyone, a parent especially, but anyone that's out and about that gets stung, have that in your bag, whip it out. Sort your sting out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of this recipe, guys, and I really hope you enjoy making it at home. Just be careful when you're picking your dock leaves, make sure there's plenty for you and for the birds and the bees. Just make sure that you're leaving some for the rest of the environment too. Because nature can provide for everyone's needs, but not everyone's greeds. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Peace. Forget to like comment subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications whenever we upload a video follow us on facebook and instagram and if you're interested in supporting our channel further so we can keep this content being created for free then check out our patreon all the links for everything we just said is in the descriptions below peace